everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. So I'm going to be showing you some fun techniques and just clever ways to use your glitters. So I have done a tutorial using glitter and making backgrounds before and I'll link those in along the way through this tutorial. But today I wanted to show you this amazing bumper pack of 48 glitters from Arteza. So I am actually in collaboration with Arteza at the moment. So I have been able to choose lots and lots of lovely product um, which I've been sharing and this is one of them so I was really excited to do this one I have had it a while and the video is split into two so you'll see me wearing this mustard cardigan and then you won't see that later on so anyway 48 glitter jars these are like I said fantastic they're fine glitter they're 9.6 grams or 0.34 ounces and they're two inch tubes non-toxic can be used on your skin you can use them on costumes obviously you just make sure supervision is you know there when children are using them so you get these two inch pots and you have a little sprinkle side and you have the pour side and they also have this kind of seal on the top as well so I'm just going through here and just showing you them all and I said they're fine they are you can hardly feel them when you actually you know use them onto your cardstock once you brush over them they are just yeah really really nice they're not rough or anything like that so these ones here are the neon you get a really nice selection of neons you get a lovely selection of golds you get a nice selection of silver you get a real nice kind of blend of like turquoises and blue. So it's great for when you're doing like underwater themes and they're definitely going to get used. You can see here, these are the neon ones. They are quite similar, but once you actually lay them down, they do completely change. So don't think, oh gosh, all those pinks look the same because they don't. Same here with these oranges. They are very different when you lay them down. This one here is a glow in the dark. And I just thought that's going to be really good for some Halloween cards. And obviously, again, if you are making costumes, then that's going to be fun. These are the silver ones I was on about there. So you've got holographic. You have that one's just the normal silver. And this one here is one of my favorites. Uh, I can't remember the name, but I use it later on. But yeah, again, they look, you know, they look quite similar, but they're not. And they're the gold ones that I was mentioning as well. So, yeah, you have a really, really good variety. Like I said, there's 48 there. You pretty much have something that will match anything you have already in terms of card stocks, um, any kind of like pre die cuts you might have, because the cards that you'll see me put together now, I found perfect matches in the glitters with them. So I'm using this is some double sided sticky sheets. This is the Sizzix brand, but I've also used some other brands as well in the past. And I will link in other ones that I would recommend in my blog. So you add double sided to one side and then you just make sure you've obviously stuck it down nice and secure and then peel off the other side and now you have this sticky surface that you can start creating with. So I have some of this Rick Rack ribbon and I'm just basically sticking it onto the sticky side there. I'm just going, you know, the kind of free freestyle here. There's no kind of, I didn't have anything in mind really that I was going to do. So I'm just kind of laying them across there. I didn't want to cut the ribbon because you can keep the ribbon after because all we're going to do is peel it off. This is acting as a barrier so that we can then lay down different colored glitters and um, yeah, show you some fun ideas. Now this one I actually saw a lady do at a, well, it was on Facebook. She was at some creative, you know, craft fair. So I thought well, that is really cool. So I'm going to do that. So this one here I am using let me just grab it here. So this is the neon mint. So I'm just going to use the pour side there. Just make sure that ribbon is all really nicely stuck down and then just dump that onto the cardstock. So what's going to happen is, is that going to, that's going to stick onto all the sticky areas, but obviously it's not going to stick to anything underneath the ribbon. So just making sure I go over all the areas there and I always like to rub it down with my fingers. That way I know I've got it right in all the little nooks and crannies. And um, yeah, I know it's nice and, and secure and you do get a really, really good coverage with this glitter. So I was really pleased. Now it does almost look like, I guess, not really like a minty color, but it's very subtle. But I also did do it against that purple cardstock. So bear that in mind as well. So now I'm peeling off that ribbon and you'll see it leaves that really cool effect. So now I'm going to cover that with this really nice. This is the neon taffy pink. I love the names as well. There's some really cool names, but look at the effect you get an instant homemade background and that is very smooth it's got a really nice texture to it so again just going over making sure everything's rubbed in and you'll find a brush will come in very handy when you're using glitter because it just means you can brush everything off and now I've got that lovely background
So now background number two, I'm using the double sided tape again. So I'm just laying down a piece of cardstock. All of these are four and a half by six and a half. And then I will mat and layer them onto five by seven card bases. So again, just peeling off my back end. So I've got a nice sticky surface. And again, using the same ribbon, this is slightly thinner. I'm now gonna go uh, do a slightly different design, same kind of technique. And um, again, make sure that's all laid down. Just it, it will stick really well. So you just want to make sure that it does lay flat. Again, the worst is that it's just going to go under a few areas, but the glitter, you know, is pretty forgiving. So just finishing that off there. Again, not cutting any of the ribbon. There's no need to. So now I'm using, this is the Onyx Black. So I thought this way you would really see this kind of effect show up a bit more. So again, just taking off the kind of um, seal and dumping that all down on the paper. It's a lovely, lovely glitter, this one. Really like that one. And now look, when you peel it off, it looks great. And I just thought that way you would really see that show up. And then I'm gonna fill in the white areas there with the snow white glitter color. So it won't look any different to you guys, but it just means now it's not sticky. So I'm just laying that down. And again, rubbing it down with my finger. And then we would get that all brushed off. This was probably one of my favourite ones. I really like the way this turned out. And when you see the finished card at the end, it looks really nice. So there you go again. And it's got a real nice shine to it. You can see there where my lights catch it. It is. It's lovely. And then this one here. So I've already gone and popped the double sided tape on. So that's all prepared. And now this is the one I've showed in other glitter kind of technique videos and this is just using good old double-sided tape so I'm sticking double-sided tape on top of what already is a sticky surface because what I'm going to do is peel off them separately and those will obviously be sticky as well rather than covering it with ribbon for example so for this one here I am using this is turquoise beautiful color this one so covering the whole area Again, go and rub that all in and then brush it all off. You can see how handy the brush is. So yeah, I definitely recommend that you use that. Just get that all off. And now I'm coming in with the neon orange. So I did use quite a few neons actually, but you'll see why, because um, yeah, there's a certain collection I'm using at the end. So now I'm gonna peel off the double-sided tape. So now I've got that sticky surface already. And then I will be filling that all in with the orange. It's really, really fun to do get a bit messy. I'm always working on this um, piece of uh, just copy paper so it's easy for me to just pour any excess back in and I also have a jar that's filled with mixed glitters and it becomes just a really nice colour and I've, I've talked about that before in other videos again those will be linked up within this video but again there look how fun that background's turned out. Okay and now on to my last card I think this one is and then I've got another little kind of tip as well and another way to use them so what I've done here is I've laid down some of the double-sided tape on that piece of cardstock and now I've gone and punched out a load of different circles again on the double-sided um, kind of sticky sheet so I've just used my you can see one of the circle punches there and I'm just now sticking them with the backing still on one side you can see that I'm just peeling off one side and sticking it down so you can just about make it out but I've covered that whole piece of four and a half by six and a half with these circles the background piece is all sticky and now I'm going to cover it and this is using let me see if I've got the right ones here oh for some reason why have I not got that color out because I've got here that I'm using the holographic black but it wasn't it's that lovely silver that I forgot to say but I'll put a little um thing in here so you can see what color it was so I'm just laying it down and just covering that whole area so you can see there it's resisted against all of those circles so now I'm just selecting different circles and I'm going to put different colored glitters over them so this one here so this is now I'm using the holographic black which has got quite a I guess like a bit of a navy bluey kind of color to it when you see it in real life you'll see it in the end you'll see what I mean so I'm just laying that down and kind of checking which circles I'd stuck it on to make sure I covered them all and then just go through and, and kind of rub that all in and this one, yeah, I really loved how this come together. I just thought it, the colours worked really well and yeah, really pleased with it. So this red here, I'm using the holographic red. So I've used holographic black, holographic red. And again, I'm just lifting up just certain circles, just kind of, you know, evenly really um, across each, you know, across the paper. And then again, dump down that colour and then brush it all off and just do that in between each color. And this is why I love using glitters. This one here, this is a really good green. This is shamrock green, but it's a great Christmas green. That one's gonna get used a lot. And then I finish off with pure copper and this is lovely. And I really loved, like I said, how these colors work together. So again, rub it all in, 
and then brush off any excess and just look at that it's so fun really really nice yeah what can i say i'm so pleased with these and then i am finishing off so basically you can make your own embellishments so i'm just using some of my liquid glue here and i'm just squeezing out different style different style blobs basically and then i'm gonna put some glitter over it so this was the wine red just dump that down. Now you can't really brush this off, you can't really do much with it, just tip off or tap off, sorry, any excess. And then you'll see in a minute just how that looks. Just set it to one side then to dry. You'll see there what I mean. And this is great. So if you wanna make embellishments to match, that's the way to do it. So here's a close up now of the cards that I've made. I just love this. So these are using the cutouts from the Papercraft Essentials issue 174 magazine. It's Wallace and Gromit is the free gift. So that is what I've used on a lot of these cards. And that's what I mean. The colours in the glitters work so well with these pieces here that I've got. So that's that one there. You can see the lovely pinks and stuff work really well with the lady and the poodle. And I've used some flowers on there as well. And then that one I've just kind of die cut this celebrate die on some foam. It's kind of felt actually. And then I just put a silver strip through the middle and you can see there, these are the dots. They've got real nice dimension to them, but you must let them dry, leave them overnight or longer. Basically that piece there underneath needs to be clear. So see mine's still quite white. You want to look, make sure it's clear. Once it's clear, you can just lift them off with your pokey tool and use them on your cards. So now you can see them all in their nice natural light. I am just so pleased with these cards. I'm so pleased with the glitters. The techniques are just really, really easy. And I just think it, again, it's so nice to be able to customize your backgrounds to match, you know, the bits that you're using on your cards really. So yeah, I think it's great. So I won't share it if I don't. So <laughs> I hope you like the techniques that I've shared today. I will link in the other tutorials as well where I've used glitters. But this bumper pack, like I said, 48 glitters, I think is wicked. So I will share all the links below for you. If you enter the code that will be there, you will get an extra 10% off and also head over to Arteza anyway and just have a little look. So they've got lots of great things on their store. Thanks for watching and I'll be back again soon with another tutorial. Bye.